All right, guys, well, you've been asking for updates for the 77, and here it is. All right, guys, uh, Nikki's working today, but I'm gonna try and get the old 77 into the shop. Uh, we didn't talk much about what happened on the way home with it, but uh, pretty sure the engine needs to be rebuilt. I'll kind of show you why we think that. Probably won't be able to hear me once it's running, but uh, basically on the way home, the dipstick blew out and was spraying oil out. So I'm thinking it's probably got some broken rings or possibly maybe a cracked piston. Uh, we'll see, I'll show you though. Once I get it running here. Starter solenoid's also on its last leg, so bear with me. Okay, we're just gonna start with the screwdriver. I'm going to start getting the uh, fluids drained out of it now.
I've got the coolant drain and oil draining. I'm just gonna let it drain forever. So it's not dripping on me while I'm under there with the pan off. Uh, don't really have any more time to do anything today, but hopefully this weekend we'll be able to tear into it and maybe get the head off and see what's wrong and we'll be able to show you guys why it has so much blow by. Pretty much everything externally torn apart. Uh, just need to pull the valve covers off and start taking all that apart. Put all the fuel lines off, intake pipe, all the coolant lines for the pre cooler. It's uh, pretty much it. All wiring unhooked. There isn't much wiring on these old engines, but. After watching all of that, we're gonna head into the shop and Bobby's gonna give us a breakdown about what he found and the parts we had to order and the reasons why the head has to be replaced. What? You wanna show me what you found? Oh, is it recording? It's recording. Oh. Well, first, the, when I took the valve covers off, it probably won't show it in the video, but there's a lot of carbon around the exhaust valves, like gooey crap. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I knew that valve seats were leaking and the valve guides were wore out. Uh, so we took the head of the machine shop to have it rebuilt and they found that the uh, head was cracked around the valve seats. So we ended up having to get a new head. Uh, also the liners, they all have a pretty big ridge in them. They're pretty wore out. Uh, you can't really see it, but you can yeah. feel it. I can see it in that one there. Yeah, that one's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're pretty wore out. And then you can see it's, it's, this is probably the worst one. Oh, the pitting? Yeah, it's from cavitation. It's the coolant like eats into it. 
And you can kind of see that some of them are pretty close because you can see the specks on the cylinder wall. Oh, oh yeah. Almost pretty close so to going all the way through. I uh, I heard you explain it to somebody else what it was, but can you explain it to me? It's I don't really know exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's on the power stroke that when the explosion in the cylinder goes off, it pushes all the coolant away from the liner and then it like slams back into it basically. Oh, That's and it how creates it was explained to me. all of that pitting? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That's a lot of force to blow coolant through. Well, know? that's years and years. Yeah, of <laughs> yeah I get it. <laughs> every yeah. every liner I've ever taken out has had some sort of little bit of pitting on it. Okay. But this one, I think it was this one is probably the worst one. Out of and that one's six. pretty bad too. So that one is that, that one's one. not that bad. Okay. But this one is pretty yeah. all the way around. This balls. Yeah, I see that. Uh, and then some of the rings have a little bit of pitting on them. Not horrible, but there you can see the little pits. And yeah. Combustion going by the rings. Yeah. Burn down here. Uh, all the bearings and everything look pretty good. Yeah. But. And then the new head is over there on the other side of the bench in that box. Yeah, I'm just waiting on the in-frame kit, uh, which... What's coming in the in-frame kit? I know that I was there when we ordered it, but... Uh, it's new liners, pistons, bearings, all the gaskets and everything. Yeah, this one. Let's see, it has some scoring on it. Okay, it's yeah. Cylinder 2, you can see it in the liner also. Oh yeah, it matches up perfectly with that piston, huh? Mm-hmm. Makes sense. That's pretty much why I had a lot of blow by. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um what uh once you get the parts, how long how many hours do you think it'll take you to put it back together? how motivated I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that wasn't an honest answer, I don't know what is. <laughs> yep. I don't know. 10, 12 maybe. Okay. Maybe a little more because they're going to do the mains and those are not that fun to torque under there. Yeah. It's really tight. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. The block looks okay. Uh, cam looks fine. Those are positives. Mm -hmm. Crank looks fine. That's good. I mean, that's kind of the heart of everything, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> are nice. you going to let me put glitter paint on these sideboards? No. Oh. Ben just sent me a toolbox for right here, like on your truck. Oh, really? On off road. Are you thinking about it? It's in Covington. Oh. It's a long way. I'd rather just order a new one. Yeah. <laughs> not yeah. drive all the way there. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.